Ready? Oh, I'm ready. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Nice golden. Can you do it? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Oh, he's dead. It's a PB. Well and truly. G'day guys, Will from All Play Fishing. Got all the gear ready to go. Going up to Lake Windermere tonight. Uh, chase some yellows. Some um, they got some footballs up there, so hopefully get onto a few. Literally got everything um, you can think of in the tackle box from soft vibes, grubs, blades, spinner baits, jerk baits, you name it. We're gonna go for a lot just to try to get onto a couple. Not the best time of year to go chase them, but it doesn't bother us. Hopefully get a few. Um, hopefully get enough for a video too, which would be good. But yeah, going to go up tonight and yeah, go in the morning. So should be good, I reckon. Yeah, so we've got the cool bag full of food, uh, clothes, got the camera gear coming, the Hobie, of course. Um, four rods rigged up on uh, everything different. Um, tackle bag. The sounder, and of course, the um, alcohol beverages are coming along. You know what? I might just crack one open now while I wait for Nate. Hey, it's taking a while. It takes a bit of time. Beautiful. All right, we'll just sit here for the next half an hour, I reckon. Oh, shit, he's here. Let's go. Ready? Well, I'm ready. Let's, <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> oh, you're on. Yeah. Nice. On the... Beautiful. Oh, finally, it's taken, what, five hours? Does he feel all right? Oh, it's a catfish. Oh, no. <laughs> it's a catty. Oh, really? Yeah. Must have landed in his nest. Must have. He smashed it, eh? Really? He's a fairly solid caddy. Yeah. So what were you, were you just shaking the rod tip up in there? Oh, right. Really shallow water. Oh, That's alright. Been in coming in for caddies. That's alright. <laughs> Man, that cast so far. I don't know if it's a golden or a cod, because it just felt really... Um, oh, it's not a gaddy. It, it's very heavy. Oh, he's bricked me. Don't know. He was just taking me like, and it was just not, it was like zzz, zzz. Like it was too easy for him. <laughs> I paused it for a while and then just wound it and it went BAM! 10 pound leader. 
Oh, yeah, he's off. Nah, I think I've got the lure back. Yeah, I got the lure back. Oh, hang on, look at the line. Slime all over it. So do catfish though. Um, quite a very slimy too. Yeah. I think all the fish in here are pretty slimy. Yeah. Yeah, that was weird. I um, I was just doing that technique, the shake and bake, and then I, I paused it for like nearly 20 seconds. So that's day one. We uh, struggled big time. We, I got the one yellow. Nathan got the caddy. He dropped. We reckon was a good yellow or potential small cod, but. Apart from that, that's not that's that's what I've got to show. It was just a grind today. Like we could see him on the sound every now and then in certain spots, um, but yeah, getting a bite was just a completely different story. Like tried you know grubs, um, soft vibes, TN sixties. Yeah, we went through a fair bit blades as well. Yeah, it just wasn't. They just didn't want to bite today, so. Hopefully tomorrow is a different ball game. Um, conditions are different. It's going to be sunny. Uh, temperatures warmer. Um, we've probably got a different game plan. Uh, a bit tomorrow we're going to hit the timber a bit more and uh, slow roll some plastics along the timber. So hopefully that um, is a difference tomorrow. And hopefully there's more to show for you. So keep watching. I'm I'm confident. I am confident in tomorrow. So let's see how we go. Ready to launch. Foggy as anything. Whoa, wait, got him. Oh, he snapped me. Oh, he snapped me. Oh, no. Oh. He annihilated and snapped me. That was a big fish. This is, and it just took off bang. Oh. Oh, he was going for that timber, I could feel it. I could feel it bouncing on the timber. He was right there. I actually just locked that drag up a little bit more. So he just he didn't he didn't bust you off with power. He actually got you on timber, did he? Yeah, and I I sort of tried to reef him at the same time, just as turn his head at the same time he happened to get in. Yep. yep. There's some really good timber right here. I'm frothing over this. I'm not frothing over that cast though. There's an old car there. Look at that. There's an old car. Must have went over the, over the cliff. You reckon? Come on, Mr. Yellow. What's a bump? Bit of bump? Yep. That was a hundred percent a bump. Right in the shallows. I could actually feel it like hitting the bottom. I wouldn't mind just exploring a little bit further. When do you reckon the river starts? You reckon you reckon this is you reckon this is it, or you reckon this is still the dam? I reckon run your lure through the timber up here, I reckon.
Yes. Oh. Hoping it's not a caddy. So I got him really shallow. Oh. God, he hit me. Oh, it's a yellow. And it's a it's a good yellow too. Oh yeah. Oh he's a bit oh probably not. He's just really um fat. Like he's just Oh yeah. You beauty. Come on. Oh no, 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 no. Yeah, he's a good yellow. He's a good yellow. Yes! Oh, yeah, that is a oh he's heavy. Oh, he'd be bigger than mine, I reckon. He's a PB. I reckon he's a PB. Yep. Oh, yes. Check him out. Against timber, right against this timber here, eh? Just slow rolling it. And it just bumped over a few little ones. Little sticks. Yep. And just went bang. And I thought for a bit, oh, I hope it's not a catfish because I got him so shallow, I reckon it was hit the bottom nearly instantly. All right, what are you going to call him? Oh. He's 47 and a half. Just got this nice 47 centimetre golden. Just uh, flicking some hard body lures along the timber here and just allowing them to bounce along and bump over a couple of sticks. And there, yeah, he's come out of his little, little home and nailed it. So, yeah, we'll give him a nice release. Cruises off. Yes, let's get another one, eh? Yeah, <laughs> let's do it. There are some good fish down there, so I reckon. Just keep it it's almost like they like stuff leaving them, isn't it? They're eating it if it leaves the timber. Oh, whack! Oh, really? Oh, heart and mouth stuff there. I just, I was bumping it over the sticks here, yep. and went bang. Didn't feel like a big fish, but still, I'm going back in there. Oh, my heart's racing. <laughs> oh, I love the feel, on the, especially on the bait caster. Nice golden. Yep, not a bad golden, just under the trees over there. Hit me right near the yak, actually, so 48.5. Let's see if we can crack a 50, eh? Yep, beautiful. Let's let him go. Off he goes. You good? You! Keep working this timber here. Just flicking some, oh, what are they? Four meter, three and a half meter divers. Yep. It's along the timber and yeah. Out they come. Cool. Yep, for a bit, I'm going to slow roll the TN. Because they might like it just to be brought back, like away from them and just past them, I reckon. Okay. So I'll be able to let it sink to the bottom. And then just slow roll it back. That might work. Because really, a jackal is just a lip, lipless crankbait, really, hey? It is. That's what they call them. Yep. So. Diving lure without a jig. That's all it is. So it's still going to work if I do this, I reckon. Yep. I reckon it could work. Because I can fish deeper. And slow, I can, I can slow the retrieve up slightly because it's a... A slower gear ratio. Yeah, that's right. So it's naturally just going to go slower. Yep. Yeah. Good fish. Oh, is it a fish? Yeah, it's a fish. Yep, it's a good fish. On the TN60. Yeah. 
Just slow roll on it, eh? Bang! Oh, yes! Feels heavy, man. Oh, good golden ayah, I think. I think it's a big fish. Yeah, it is. I can tell by looking at it. He's giving you a bit of strike on that. Oh, it's a cracker. It's a PB. Oh. Well and truly, and it's a football. Oh, yes. oh look at him. He's fat. Oh. Oh. He's probably not as long as we think, but he is a fat fish. Oh, yes. Oh, look at how thick it is. Oh, that is a proper, that's a proper golden. That is a proper golden. Oh. We've probably lost one or two of them. Oh, yes. That's a golden. <laughs> yes. Oh, my God. What a fish. Oh man, literally, I've only had a couple of casts with this technique, and I've had a hit, and now a fish. Yeah. And I reckon, because I can get the jackal deeper for a longer period, that could be the key, I reckon. Possibly. That's a PB. Oh, that's way bigger than my PB as well. <laughs> that is a golden A. At first, I was like, oh, yep, and then it was like not even doing anything. I'm just like, do I have a fish? And then it started to go like, like that. I'm like, oh, yep. Oh, look at look that. Look at that. That's a cracker. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we came here for, eh? Oh, oh. yes. Oh, I'm so happy. <laughs> and I didn't even catch it. <laughs> what do you reckon he is? Uh, it's hard to tell because I reckon he's going to be 56 at least. He's so wide. Oh god. It's a PB. He is 57. 57? Yep. That is an absolute beast. <laughs> Look at him. That's a cracking golden. Alright, just caught this nice uh, 57 centimetre golden. Uh, just changed up the technique a bit at the moment where, well, I'm um, got a Jackal TN60 on rigged wheelers. So I've just got a single lure hook at the front and the treble off at the back. And I'm just running that over the timber and I can, that allows me to get down a bit deeper and slow roll it right through the, the um, deeper column there. And um, this guy's just jumped all over it. Um, he's heavy too, so he's been out of the water for a bit, so I'll let him go. Oh, he's nearly ready, eh? Look at that. That's a proper golden nugget. What a football. Oh. Come on, mate. Come on. Come on. Get. There you go. Good guys. So that's what I'm using. This is, I think, the black market colour. The Jackal TN60. I've taken both trebles off. I left the split ring at the front with the single lure hook. And um, that allows it to just bounce over timber and not getting snagged so much. So, Yeah, I've already had a hit and a fish, so it's only been about 10 minutes since I've used it. So I'm going to keep using it and see how we go. Oh, oh, whack. Yep, just got nailed. I don't know how I missed that. Oh, I don't know how I missed it. Well, I think that's our cue to go home.
Oh, the water temp's up anyway. I think they've just shut off. Yeah. Yep. They'd come back on in the afternoon, but we're going home, unfortunately. Well, that's Windermere done and dusted. Uh, two and a half days here we spent, and we caught our most fish uh, today when we're about to leave, so which is typical. Found the fish uh, up the back of the dam, uh, around some timber, some tight, some tight structure, and yeah, just slow rolling hard bodies and um, TN60s, and yeah, it was seeming the um, the technique to go with. It might be the sort of the summer technique, I think, just you know, crawling around timber and. Um, you can use jackals, you know. I, I use mine wheeler so I can get it right through the timber and have no dramas, really. So, um, but anyway, hope you've enjoyed. Um, we'll be back here in spring, so there'll be a video then. So, cheers, guys.